Hey FitFam, we're on week five of quarantine and, and I have Coach Rick on site, <laughs> on set to join me on Neri's Kitchen. Hi, thank you for having me on Neri's Kitchen. <laughs> what's, good? what's going on guys? What's going on? I didn't want to make that weird there. <laughs> so what are we cooking today? You want me to tell them? I think you should tell sure, them. Sure, no problem. So when we're under quarantine, so uh, what we're going to be making today is some basic, basic meals. We're going to pretend that we're in jail. All right, we got three <laughs> menu items today, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So what Neri and I are gonna do is we're gonna start, or maybe you can start, we're gonna start cooking the dinner part first because that one takes the longest. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna prepare the lunch. So what we're shooting for, or what we're cooking today is gonna be the um, sirloin steak, thin cut, which is gonna cook immediately. So you wanna get this rolling. We're gonna also have some rice and uh, a few sides along with it. So this is actually a meal that you would get in, uh, in jail if you were in there. Okay. We're going to do it because we're in quarantine. All right, Neri, do your magic. What so do you want to do here? I'll start the rice first because it does take the longest. Um, so I will wash the rice. <laughs> here, I'll cut this open and get Okay, this sure. So this is the dinner portion of prison meals. <laughs> so fun fact, Neri. Yes. I actually spent one night in jail. Did you know that? I did not know that. Oh, now you do. Okay, why were you in jail? <laughs> or, okay, why did you... Okay, how did this whole thing start? Your first question. How did this start? Don't ask that question. <laughs> okay, I, I'm so innocent. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I was in jail because of some poor decisions. We'll leave it at that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, I will tell you this. Um, I, I did have one meal. Actually, I had a few, but one of the meals that they feed you when you're... Um, First being processed yes. is uh, a bologna sandwich with milk. Okay. So that was my very first experience at, uh, at food in jail, and it was awful. It was awful. <laughs> yeah. It literally was awful. I'm assuming that they just uh, like pre-make these things by the uh, thousands and then they give them to you okay. as you need them. So what did you want me to do with this? Do you want me to just get it going? Or, yeah, uh, if you can yeah? get the, the steak going, it should take about a minute to cook. And sure. this is the cheapest cut of meat I could find, like dirt cheap. Yeah. How do you operate rich people's stoves? <laughs> do I need an app for this? Or? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and where's your Pam or uh, oil or whatever okay. we're going to be cooking here? So here is my <laughs> olive oil. So just out of curiosity, is this one of these stoves where you have to have a special pan for it to heat? Yeah, it is. It is. So it's if induction. I put my hand on this, nothing, right? Test it. Uh, Test it. <laughs> oh, oh, Which one? This one? It's this one here. No, it's cool. Cool okay. to touch. So the rice is cooking. Yeah, we'll let that get a little bit hotter. Okay. So we're going to be cooking the meat, the rice. We've got some mushroom gravy. Oh, Ooh. mushroom gravy. Oh, okay. Right? I can start mushroom gravy yeah. and... Where's your garbage can? Garbage can's here. Yeah. This is just a simple package of mushroom gravy I bought from the store. How do I cook this? And what we're also going to be doing is tracking our food today as well. Um, in fact, this would be something that maybe we can do. Let's uh, see who's tracking their food. And then if they have any questions about how to do it, we can show them how we're doing it right now. So what I'm going to do is add this. So, Jordan, you want to check this out? Let's see how you... Uh... So this right here. If you wanted to track it, my fitness pal, you're going to hit this right here, which is the barcode. You're going to go to the barcode, and you'll see that the phone has now registered it. So you're going to see all of your uh, calories and then all of your macros along with it. So just so you know, that's what it's going to be. We're going to add it as we move along here. Hugo's online, so is Brian Stearns. What up, Hugo? What's up, Beast Mode? <laughs> Okay, what else we got? Mushroom gravy, white rice, lima beans. Okay, how do I do this? Let's see do what these lima beans are we got going on here. Combine water and gravy in a saucepan. <laughs> so, Check it out. my gravy. Check it out. So we're going to add this. So we're going to get some uh, lima beans in here. What's your opinion on beans, Neri? You know what? They're not bad. I actually like beans. You like them? Tell us about beans, though. Yes, the whole they're not digestible? Why do you think so? Well, I went online because I was wondering why is beans not part of the paleo diet? And mm -hmm. it turns out because it's not, it's hard for your body to break down the beans. 
and because um, it takes up so much room in your stomach that you can't absorb a lot of other nutrients, mm -hmm. which is why it's not paleo, which is why it's not, some people can't break it down and they can't eat it. Yep. Yeah. So yep. that's what I heard, but then I hear that it has lots of fiber again, but I, I'm, I'm iffy. I don't like a lot of beans because I find it makes me gassy. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer not to have that much beans in my diet. I was just going to say my uh, Jen has the same problem. She has uh, just bad belly aches from it. But I feel like beans are... You don't get those uh, luxuries. I feel like... You eat what you get. Yeah. 40 carbs. Ooh, lots of carbs in these beans. It's a lot of carbs. Nine yeah. grams of protein. So if you're on the vegan diet, you can see how you would get uh, carb heavy real quick, right? Okay, so we got that tracked. Uh, the meat, we're gonna track that as well. This is a good little dinner so far. The macros look good. Actually, we should see, Hugo, what would you put on your meat? What kind of spices? Where's our spices, uh, Mary? You get no spices. I think you just well, get you full. Know? You might get some. Yeah, that's, it's too fancy if you get an option. You never know what you can smuggle into prison. <laughs> maybe a little, uh, maybe a little uh, allspice. All I have, uh, I don't even have allspice. I have salt and pepper and seasoning. Seasoning I think, salt. I think we can get a little pepper going. A little pepper? salt and pepper. That's okay, got to come. pepper. I think that comes in jail. And then there's salt there. Salt there. Ooh, is that Himalayan salt? Yep. This is actually very good. Oh, you can even get a Dollarama. Nice. I love that salt. How come? Because it's pink, and I think pink <laughs> is better for you. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm making the gravy, the mushroom gravy. There we go. Butter and thyme. Butter yeah, I and like thyme? The, I like the idea of butter, but I don't know if we can get that, right? I feel like we don't need to cook these for too long. I think long. that's pretty much, yeah, pretty much done. Do you do most of the cooking here? I do all of the cooking here. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, funny thing, so yesterday you said you were, wait, a day full of deep cleaning? Mm -hmm. yeah, why don't you uh, tell us what that meant? I, what did you actually clean, RJ? So RJ wakes up <laughs> and just starts mopping the floor. Really? Yes. Oh, okay, well, and never mind. But I didn't clean the house yet. And I thought to myself, do I tell him not to mop or do I let him mop? Yeah. Because if I say something like don't mop, then he won't mop again, right? Yeah. So I was, going to, I was going to let him mop, but then I got pissed off <laughs> because now it's, it's giving, I didn't clean the house yet. And then he tells me to wipe the windows and I'm like, okay, hey, no. And then RJ says, what's the process? And I said, you mop the floors at the end. Yeah. You okay. got what? All right. So just a quick, uh, just a quick on both sides. Yes. Sear on both sides. Sear on both sides. I have this gravy. This is done already too. A little bit of this. Just because it makes it look fancy. Um, there. I just use a rice cooker to make yeah, rice. How good does that look? Yes. Salt bay. Salt bay. All right. Oh yeah, I should have done it that way. Okay, where are we at? Okay. Gravy's so done. Gravy's Meat's done. done. I think we get three slices of bread too. Correct? Is it or is it rice? Three. Three, yeah. Oh, oh for dinner. For dinner, yes. Yeah, dinner's rice. Rice. Oh, dinner's lima rice. <laughs> okay, we get lima beans. So. So the rice is a few minutes yet. Apple. It's about ten more okay. minutes. Apple or banana. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So the veal is done. Gravy is coming. The lima beans. We're gonna open those up. Yes. Bread, apple, and a Diet Coke. Look at that, we almost got dinner finished. How, what, what are we at for time here? That's how fast you can cook. 13 minutes. 13 minutes, easy peasy. And we didn't even prep because we wanted to do this right from start to finish, so we could even made it a little bit faster. What kind of <laughs> beans you got there, limas? This is lima beans, this is what they eat, so I think it's soybeans. <sighs> Those look gross. <laughs> I don't even know if you cook this or not. I'm just going to uh, give it straight out of the can. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, it's not it's not even green. Mm. It's not green. And I bought this yesterday. You know, here's the thing. Sometimes you just gotta eat it. Yes. Right? You gotta look at things as fuel, not necessarily uh because well, you love everything that you eat. 
And that's one of the uh, realities of fitness, okay? So just know that. Sometimes you almost gotta limit your variety too. Keep it simple. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. What's okay. next? Okay, what's next? I guess we can do breakfast. What's breakfast? Oatmeal? Oatmeal. Um, you want, so we gotta get the water boiling for oatmeal? Well, I have instant oatmeal here. Okay. I, I think in prison they would have instant oatmeal. Do you wanna take care of the breakfast and I'll start doing the lunch? Perfect. Okay, all right. This is the best part. I'm just gonna come over here and grab a little sit down. Let me use this right here. Are you gonna eat one of these? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, Jerome. This is how we do it in prison. So they tell me. So these are uh, smoked oysters. And what you want to try and do in order to keep it uh, authentic is to not use any outside utensils. You want to just use everything you got in the can here. So careful not to cut yourself. You got band-aids nearby yes, just in case yes. I do? All right. Check that out. Mmm. Mm. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of, oh, I smell that, Nary? Yeah, I do. I want to keep some of the oils, but not all of it. And from there, what you're going to do is you're going to use this as a tool. So this is going to kind of be like a cutting tool. Nary, in prison, what do you think the most popular thing to create a shank that. from it? Good guess. It's actually <laughs> a toothbrush. A toothbrush. A toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. You actually just, uh, you melt it, you form it, and then you let it harden up, and it's a shank. Now you know. Wow. That's one thing you get to learn today. All right, so here's what's next. You're gonna take your cutting tool, which is the lid, and all you're gonna do now is start mashing it together, all right? So because when you're in prison, you have nothing else to do, you can take your time here and try to make sure that it doesn't go over top. Look how good that looks. Nary, I'm excited for you to eat this. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is good. Let's check out the, uh, let's see what the protein is on this thing. Can you find that out for me? <laughs> it's 10 grams of protein for the entire can. There you go. Zero grams of sugar, 10 grams of fat. 10 grams of fat. 160 calories. Mm, not bad. Six grams of carbs. Okay. So I like to not mash it too much. I don't want to pate it. I like to have a little bit of meat chunks. There we go. I'm going to insist that you have a little bit of this with me. And then this is what we're going to do. We're going to take it out. Oh, you're eating it with that. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the bread. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like a spread then. Yeah, like a little. Oh, uh, like a sandwich. Yeah, like a little sandwich. This is fancy in jail. Oysters. Hugo says no way you get that lid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here, I'll just put it all over to one side for you. That'll be yours. This one's gonna be mine. <laughs> Close up on Neri's face when she takes a bite of this. Ready? Okay. okay. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Just flip it over. <laughs> All right. It's not bad, right? You know, I ate it really fast. And um have to get another bite. Another bite? Make sure there's oysters <laughs> in there. <laughs> this is good. What do you think? Honestly. It's delicious. <laughs> I really like it. It's actually really good on um rice cakes and brogies. If you don't know what you know what brogie is? Yeah, it's uh it's like a that's a very thin popped grain rice mm -hmm. cake almost. Yeah, it'll give Delicious. you a little bit of crunch. So right now, this is really mushy. So if you had the contrast of a crunch of some kind, might um, at least the texture would change a little bit. Yes. Me, right? I can tell in your face you hate it, but I actually <laughs> really enjoy it. So, you know, teach your own. This what, is my first time having this. I've never had this before. Yeah. And what you can do actually to get rid of that um, oystery flavor is just add more mustard. Add more mustard. Yeah. You know what? The mustard was the saving grace out of all of this. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Because if, if there was no mustard, yeah. I don't know. 
So if you want to eat healthy at the dollar store, that's one thing that I would recommend is uh, some uh, oysters, some mustard, and um, some kind of a rice cake or some kind of a low cal, low carb mm -hmm. cracker, something yes. like that. Anyways, that one's done. Where, where else are we back? Are we back to dinner now? Um, you know, our rice is still cooking, but I'll okay. do breakfast. So for breakfast, what they have in prison is just some sort of package of oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I just cook this in the microwave, but you don't get you don't get um, a glass bowl. So I'll just mm -hmm. plop it on the plate like that. Sure, and then I think you have... Yeah, I think if you have commissary, you could get apples. You could get some fresh fruit. So we could cut it, put it up in there. Okay, yes, yeah. so you get fresh fruit. So this is an apple. It's a large apple. I'm just going to uh, quarter this. <clears throat> You get this in prison. Um, you still got that flavor in your mouth from the prairie oysters? Oh, I'm, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> like, I'm really hot. <laughs> I was really afraid to try it. I was. But, Amazing um, what you try when the camera's in your face, eh? You know, it wasn't that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It was just all in my head this whole time. You want to try it? Come on, try it. Hey, well, I'll try it later. Have some. Yeah, yeah. And then I believe you get some butter uh, for your three slices of bread. I'm just going to. Where do you keep your butter in your house? Uh, in the fridge. In the fridge. How in do you spread fridge. it then? This is actually a thing that I have. Yeah. How do you spread it? Yeah, you got to. Well, you got to keep it like at room temperature. We don't really put butter on bread. We don't really eat bread like that. We eat it on sandwiches. You don't eat butter. So I'll. I do eat butter, but I'll heat the butter on a pan, and mm. then I'll make my sandwiches like that. Okay. With, with love. Look at with that love. Right there. This <laughs> is breakfast. Oh, and you get your two cups of milk. Yeah. So you have your oats, your fresh fruit, three slices of bread, butter, jam, milk. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty carb heavy. Carb heavy. <laughs> yes. Carb heavy. Very carb heavy. Um, so as far as protein, what? How would we get protein into their diet? I, I feel like you'd almost have to just carb load in the mornings and then focus on your protein outside of that. And I feel like in jail, you're sort of uh, limited to your protein sources. I can't see them bringing in like fresh chicken breasts for you. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I, so I feel like stuff like this, this is where you're going to get your protein from. Yep. When Agreed. you're in jail. Yeah. And that's 10 grams of protein. Yep. Not bad. So that looks like a good breakfast though. Uh, like you know a good what? kid breakfast. This, I feel like this breakfast you would get at a hotel, yeah. right? This like is... Continental? Yeah, a continental breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I don't think this is too bad. I mean, my son loves butter and bread. And jam and bread, so I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. I would eat this. That, I would eat that if I was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'll trade you. I'll, I'll eat this and you eat that. <laughs> right, let's go through some prison facts. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you got? Is it advisable to lock eyes with another person? Excellent question. What I would say is this, like anything, even, even outside, should you lock eyes with somebody in prison? You should not lock eyes with somebody in prison unless you know them. You should uh, do your best to uh, avoid eye contact <clears throat> because in prison, no one's going to take your eye contact as friendly. You know what I mean? So the answer to that question is no, you should not lock what, what eyes. What about uh, entering someone's cell without their permission? Do not do that either. That's, I mean, those, those are standard rules across the board, right? You, uh, if you enter somebody's cell without their permission, you can be sure that if they find out it was you, that there will be repercussions. And the thing about prison is this, you have to answer eye for an eye, right? There's no letting things go. So if, uh, if you do something, uh, let's, especially in front of people where you can't have to like try and save face or, you're, or they, they have to save face, then you can be sure that uh, something's about to go down. So what other questions you got there? Should you ask somebody what they're in for? No, you should not. <laughs> um, you don't, you'll get hit with that question almost immediately. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, should you ask the question? I wouldn't ask the question. Should you answer the question? Um, you know, in the, in the criminal world, there's certain crimes that are sort of give you street cred, make you look tough. In that world, it's okay. And then there's other, um, uh, there's other crimes that you don't want anybody to ever know. So to answer that question, uh, again, I wouldn't ask anybody what they're in for. So what about miserable people in jail? Miserable? Yes. Uh, well, I can give you a personal story about that. The, uh, when I was in there, there was a guy who was in charge of mopping the floors, this old crusty guy with long hair. And he, every time you closed the main door, 
it slammed. So you got to remember that these are like air release doors. They hit a button, it opens and allows you to move throughout the jail. And the door itself is this super thick, heavy metal door. And it's got um, like an like a air compressor or air compression closing system, however you want to call it. So when that thing closes, mm -hmm. it makes a loud noise and everything is concrete. So there's a big echo. And this guy, for whatever reason, hated it when he heard that slam. And I guess when you're in prison for years or whatever, you probably hate certain things too. And every time that thing would slam, he would call out that person <laughs> and just be like, whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. he said many different things. He mm -hmm. called me out the first time I got there too. And out of respect, I made sure that when I, that door closed, that I let it close softly. But um, he was, the thing with prison is you're gonna find people who get irritated by everything because there's nothing there, right? So everything is gonna bug them. Uh, so should you associate with them? Um, I don't know, I guess you almost have to. You gotta deal with this. So how does all of this relate to people that are in quarantine right now, maybe with their family, with their friends? It relates almost <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> it relates perfectly. So what would you advise to somebody that's in quarantine at home for the very first time? You know what, you, you gotta really practice some empathy, some understanding. You do, you are allowed to exit your home at least, right? Mm -hmm. You can go to your backyard, close the door. Mm -hmm. I feel, uh, I feel like you should certainly have your alone time. Just like, um, you know, Jen and I, we make a point now of making sure that one is gone while the other one's there. <laughs> just today? She can just today, yeah. Are you coming home or not? Yeah. No, because I want to go home. I don't want you there. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that statement without that statement. Uh-huh. No, it was that. And that's totally fine. We, we get is. it. Like, you know, there's, it's been 30 days now, and there's times where, you know, when you miss that routine, right? When somebody goes to work mm -hmm. and you have the house to yourself mm -hmm. or vice versa, and you kind of mm -hmm. get used to that and you yep. kind of like it, right? So anyways, how does it relate to quarantine? Uh, it relates almost perfectly. So empathy and understanding right now. So what do we got for food here? Okay. Three, three meals here. Yeah. So I just prepared dinner, which is the white rice, lima beans, um, a cheap piece of steak and mushroom gravy. Mm. We're gonna cut Yummy. into this. Sure with plastic forks, because that's how we would be in that's, prison. That's how we roll in prison. Um. <laughs> this actually looks pretty good. I don't know, I could eat that all the time. That's not bad. I'd eat it. <laughs> it's beef, gravy, rice. Let's try these beans. I'm gonna try two beans. <laughs> Mmm, those are good. <laughs> I don't like them. The beans? No. You it's canned. There's got to be a way that we could probably prepare them to maybe be a little more uh, tasteful. Maybe we can put some. Do you put spices in stuff? Uh, yeah. I, I think it would taste better in butter. Like, are you a freestyler with spices? Do you yes. just kind of do, yeah. Oh no, no. I just put salt and pepper. That's it. I'm gonna try Are this. Prison, this guy's I know. This is seasoning salt now. <laughs> Let's just pretend that I got a friend who smuggles stuff in. He brought in my cigarettes. So what, what, what would you do as a favor for this ring? <laughs> <laughs> Pay him money. <laughs> you don't got money, but you got your body. That's it. No, you do get money, right? You have people put money in your account. You personally have no money. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know my situation? <laughs> try that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got a little bit of spice. Tell me this gravy is some, it's probably not healthy at all, eh? You know, it's just packaged gravy. It's, I don't think anything is healthy. I think the beef is the healthiest part. Mm, mm, mm. But this is not that bad. Put the three dishes together. Okay. Bring it over here. <sighs> Quarantine food. Wait, we don't have the Coke. Okay. That's a treat. And that's a treat. Oh. All right, so here we have your breakfast, your three slices of bread, apple, oats, butter and jam, two cups of milk. Lunch is um, your oysters and mustard and your bread mm -hmm. with a Coke. Oh, and you also get a piece of fruit. So you get a banana too. Mm. And then for dinner, you, get, you have your steak, Mushroom gravy, lima beans, rice, and your can of Coke. And you also get another piece of fruit. So there you go. I think that's kind of that's balanced. Pretty, that's pretty good eating, to be honest. I, uh, you have your fiber. Yeah, certainly do. You just don't really have fresh vegetables. But I mean, this is a vegetable too. Yeah. yeah. So that's it? 
That's it. All right, there you have it. Thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Coach Rick, thanks for joining me and showing me prison food. Yeah, no problem, thanks for having me. <laughs> and we'll see you guys on the blue. Perfect. Keep talking guys and uh, I'll shut that up. Okay, RJ, I want you to try this. Try this. I want you to